All right, boys and girls, well, hope you got your handwriting done and you're ready to move on. We're looking at our reader. It looks like this. Remember, I can read well book one. And the last few uh, videos, we've been reading through our reader. We read through all these different words and sounds and blends and tricky words that we read through. And now we should be ready to read page 13. All right, so let's take a look. You can look at this picture, and I bet you already know what sport our friend is playing. What is that, boys and girls? Yes, he's a baseball player. Give me a thumbs up, baseball players. All right, we are looking at the title, and the title says, A Home Run. Do you know what a home run is? All right, they hit that ball far, 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 and they run around those bases, don't they? All right, let's find out our friend's name. Matt, get the black cap. So everybody say, hi, Matt. Pick up the bat. Hit it, Matt. See that exclamation point? Run and get on base, Matt. Slide in home. Get on home plate. Matt made it on time. Matt made his team win. Awesome. All right. Hopefully you were reading through with us. There's the black cap we talked about. We saw that in the picture. We see the bat. They talked about picking up the bat. We see that Matt is at home plate. We had a couple of exclamation points in there. If we were at a baseball game, we sure would cheer for our, our player, wouldn't we? We use excitement voices. Hit it, Matt. Run and get on base, Matt. Just like if you're playing soccer and we would say, hey, Brandon, run and hit that soccer ball. And this also says, slide in home. We're excited when our players make it home. All right. And you probably noticed on Matt's name, there was two T's, but again, made one sound, Matt. All right. So how did Matt get to home plate? Did you catch that in the story? All right. He slid home. Did he make it on time before he was out? Yes. Remember what it says, Matt made it on time. That means he got there, he got to the home plate before the ball did, before he was out. Whose team won, boys and girls? Whose team won? Yeah. Remember, Matt made his team win. So Matt's team won. All right. So reading through, pictures gave us a few clues, but definitely need to read through the story so we can know what's happening. All right, let's move on. Now this story is on this page and it's on this page. So it's 13 and 14. I'm just kind of folding mine for the video. The story starts on 14. This is the last story. And when you look at the picture, you can tell that our friend is on what, boys and girls? Yes, he's on a boat. All right, we're going to find out the name of our friend in just a minute, but he's on a boat. And the title even says, The Boat Ride. All right, The Boat Ride. Let's continue. Hop in, Steve, says Dad. So what's the name of our friend, everybody? That's Steve. Say hi, Steve. Let's sail in the blue boat. And you know from looking at the picture, it's a blue boat. Steve got in and sat on the seat. Dad made the boat sail on the lake. All right, now, continuing on, the story's not over. A big wave 
came and hit the side. Sit still, Steve, says Dad. Steve sat still and just got his hands wet. I like to feel the wind and the waves, Dad, says Steve. All right, so who took Steve sailing, boys and girls? All right, Dad did, his dad. Why did Steve only get his hands wet? Do you know why? I have to think about that. Because he listened to his dad. Remember, his dad said, sit still, Steve. And he obeyed his dad, boys and girls. And he only got his hands wet there when the waves come up. See how important it is to obey our mommy and daddy? And I'm so glad uh, that Steve and his dad, they have on something. Do you know what that's called when you go out on a boat that you wear for safety? Yeah, it's called a life jacket. And that's what we see them wearing. And Steve, listening to his daddy, kept him safe when that big wave comes came up. So super important for that. All right, good job. Did you notice as we read through that, boys and girls, we saw that tricky word says. We've seen that a lot. We also saw, we also saw the boy's name, Steve. Stuck, long E, Steve. We saw the word Still, S-T-I-L-L, -L, still, all right, so we had st Steve with the long E, magic E, still, short I, remember two L's only make one L sound, all right, so great job. So boys and girls, uh, we, can everybody say, the end, the end have read out loud on the videos all of this reader, I Can Read Well, of the stories. Now, if we go back here, we see just words. This was at the very beginning, and these were just words. And we're just going to read through these. You might have marked them, and that's okay. But let's just three read through it, and we're going to go across. Rat, can you get to that page? Miss Keg, bait, ten, sill, uh, if you've ever heard like a window seal, aim, hum. Now that aim has two vowels go walking right at the beginning, long A, silent I. Huff, tot, kiss. Pal, like a friend is a pal. Vase, gas, bead, till. All right, so hopefully you were able to read through those, sound out those words, boys and girls. If it takes you a little bit, that's okay. It's good practice. Now they added some blends and digraphs. Blue, blah, block, so theirs would be L, clock, Clean, C-L, flat, flip, F-Ls, glad, glass, G-Ls, plain, plus, P-Ls, slam, sled, S-Ls. All right, so you should be able to read those. And again, if you needed to mark those, that's all right. If you need to help circle the blends or the digraphs, that's all right too. All right, so those were the words. And then we read the stories. And then let's flip over to page eight. There were some words. We skipped over those because we were just reading stories. But we're on page eight. Again, we're going to read through them. Sound these words. Great practice. Short U, pup, road, nod, deed, two vowels go walking, 
Gus, Maine, Lock, Him, Lied, two vowels, Van, Dean, capital Dean, two vowels, it's a boy's name, Mel, capital N, M, it's a name, Bean, Made, Tied, Neat. Okay, so your brain was going all over the place. Short vowels, long vowels. And again, we're going down to some blends. They mixed them up. We're going across. Remember, we read from our left to the right. Clap, flop, plot, flag, clop, slit, click, bliss, slide, black, it's a color word we know, slap, plane, clip, plate, Float, clack. All right, so you should be able to read through those. If you need to go back and practice them, that is fine. I know there's a lot of blends and vowels in there. And, of course, we read the rest of the story. So when we get here, we've said the end because we've read all that. All right, and if you need to go back and practice through some of those, that's okay before we move to the next reader, okay? We're going to read through some more stories tomorrow. We're just going to pick a few and read through for a little extra practice. Um, so let's make sure we are reading this uh, reader really well. All right. When we come back, we're going to look at a couple of pages. So make sure you're doing your best.